Uh, <laughs> intro retakes. <laughs> what a buzzkill! This guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I gotta work with him every day. I gotta work with him every day. God damn. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. We're doing a mill video today. As you can see, we got a mill. Now, no, whatever. Okay, you ready? I'm releasing. It's awesome. Like many in the mill for a market, we took a look at the Tormach line of CNC mills. Uh, problem is, what we found out, they start at 10K, but uh, once you start adding on options, you're quickly in the twenty dollars to $30,000 range, and that was just outside of our budget. So we started looking online, eBay, Craigslist. There's a slew of used uh, CNC mills, especially from the 90s. Uh, we found this knee mill here. It met all our requirements. Uh, it's got ball screws, it's got servos, uh, it's rigid. Uh, it is a three-phase machine, but we can convert it to single phase. It does break down in two. It weighs about 3,500 pounds, um, but it breaks down into two pieces, and we were able to, we just built a little gantry and used our uh, engine lift too, and we were able to get it in here. Uh, we paid $3,500 for this. It did work when we got it. Uh, once we got it home, we took it apart. We had to pull some of the electronics apart out of the back box. There's a electronics box on the rear. Once we put it back together, we were getting errors, uh, e-stop and, and some limit switch errors. We tried to diagnose them, um, but we decided that at that time, pretty early on, right away after a day of farting around with it, that we wanted an upgrade to a, a brand new CNC control. Uh, we looked around. Uh, we decided on a centroid um, so but just compare some of the specs of this uh, to a Tormach I'm gonna go over a little bit of that right now first thing you notice about it uh, it's rather large uh, weighs 3,500 pounds um, the Tormach weighs uh, 1,600 pounds uh, this like I said does break into two pieces but uh, with that extra weight comes rigidity. And with rigidity, you can machine faster, less chatter. Uh, this also has box ways rather than dovetail ways, which are, are uh, you know, one of the most rigid uh, type of way system you can get. Uh, this also comes with zero backlash, ball screws, servos. And just the added mass of it really makes for, a, you know, a better machining platform if you're looking for, you know, speed and accuracy. Uh, second thing, uh, horsepower, uh, this one comes with a three horsepower motor. Um, the Tormach comes with a two horsepower motor, uh, RPM, um, as is it's at 4,200 RPM. Um, but, uh, we're running a VFD on here and when you run a VFD, you can overclock them. So this will be a 5,000 RPM machine. Uh, the Tormach is a 7,500 RPM machine. Um, but with the ability, with the more rigidity and the more horsepower, uh, we'll still, despite the slower RPM speed, we'll still be able to make deeper, faster cuts. Um, the rapids on it and the machining uh, speeds, uh, this has 400 inches per minute, uh, whereas the Tormach has 110 inches per minute. So this is four times as fast. Uh, you can get a servo upgrade for the Tormach, which I think puts the feeds up uh, between three and 400 inches per minute. I believe that's a $2,000 option, though, to go up to servos on the uh, Tormach when they're just standard on this. As far as travels on this machine, um, 33 by 16, uh, 6 inches on the Z-axis. Since this is a knee mill, though, if you got to get uh, long, if you have longer tools, all you do is you can lower this knee and then retouch it off. This knee will go down a good, a good foot, foot and a half more. So you can put, you know, really big items underneath this. So it's 33 by 16 by 6. The Tormach is 18 by 11 by 16. So you can see this almost has, you know, twice the travel. Which means, I mean, you can stack on this machine three, four vices in a row. Um, so you can really up, up uh, your productivity with this bigger table. And plus more travel allows you to do uh, bigger parts. If you have longer parts or deeper parts, you can actually see how far back this will travel. And there's a lot of, 
a lot of travel in X and Y. Spindle. This comes with a BT-30 spindle. Uh, the Tormach, I believe that's like a $2,000 option. Otherwise, the Tormach comes with an RT R8 standard. Uh, this comes, you know, with the BT-30, which obviously, again, more rigidity, faster machining. Uh, this comes with an automatic oiler. It's kind of dark down there. I don't know if you can see that. That's like a $400 option on the Tormach. I think the Tormach comes standard with a manual. Um, this also has a mister on it. Uh, I believe the mister is a $500 option on the Tormach. This does have flood coolant too. We're going to build an enclosure for it. Uh, the flood coolant I think is a $500 option on the Tormach. Um, you can get an enclosure obviously for the Tormach. Uh, that runs I believe three grand. We're just going to fab our own so it's only going to be a, probably a few hundred bucks. Um, this comes standard with a power draw bar. Most of these do. Some of them even come with tool changers. Uh, but a power draw bar on the Tormach, that's a thousand dollar option. Uh, let's see. You can also get a tool changer on the Tormach, that's a five thousand dollar option. Uh, the stand, obviously, this comes standard with a, a you know big cast iron style base. Um, the stand for the Tormach, that's a $2,000 option. Uh, you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. Uh, you know, like, you're well, you're pushing, like, to get all the standard features that we got here for $3,500, um, you're, you're going to be pushing $30,000 on a Tormach. And there's a wealth of these machines around. Uh, you can get them. Sometimes when they got bad controls, since we're converting this to a modern... Uh, centroid control which we'll go over here shortly i'll show you all the details of the centroid um but since we're you're converting it to a centroid anyway you don't need one with a good controller and i've seen these things some people essentially give these away uh, you can get them for five hundred thousand bucks when they got bad controllers but the servos are almost usually always good on them you know as long as it wasn't a beat to death machine the ball screws are good um, you know, the good stuff, the engine's usually still good. I should say motor, not engine. This is the main board for the Centroid All-in-One DC. It contains your drivers, your encoders, your relays, the hookup for your computer. Uh, it all connects to here. So it makes wiring up uh, your conversion kit much easier. So along with the Centroid All-in-One board, the kit also comes with a capacitor and bridge rectifier to use with your stock servos and since you're using your servos that you already had on your machine it also comes with new encoders and they are 2000 count encoders. The retrofit kit also includes the Centroid CNC software and the crimping little pieces that you need for hooking it all up. So that main retrofit kit cost $3,000 $300. The Centroid software actually is a uh, PC based. It does not used it does not use proprietary boards and control boards to communicate with uh, your servos and your drivers and all that. So I think that's great. Um, you have the option to get this console without a PC. Now you can build your own PC and put it into your electrical cabinet or you can get a all-in-one with a touch screen and mount it, or you can also uh, use a Nook, an Intel Nook. Um, that is what we decided to do. And we bought this console without the, the Nook PC, because it actually saved us $900 to buy our own. And the one that I bought here was uh, $505, and it has an i3 uh, 8109U, 16 gigs DDR4, 256 gigabyte uh, M2 SSD. So uh, it was more than capable of running the Centroid software. If you buy the CNC console from Centroid, it comes with a 15 inch touchscreen and it also comes with the operator control panel, which has your emergency stop, your feed rate, uh, your jaw, your spindle override, and various other little buttons. Also, 
This also has a fan on the bottom. It has four USB ports on the side and a ethernet port on the bottom. And then you have the option on the back to fab your own control arm. So this right here cost us $15.95. And when you buy this, there is a little section next to it that has a cable option. Now this is the cable that runs from your control to your cabinet and uh, here it is. It is a beast. <laughs> Looks like something out of Aliens. Now, it has your MPG connector, if you have one, uh, USB power for the fan, um, all that. And this, this side is actually good onto the cabinet. Our, uh, our main side that goes up into our control, you can connect your nook and MPG and ground and all that. And I would have to say that even though it's $405, looking at the amount of time you would have to spend wiring this, uh, this is definitely worth it. Plus you get a sweet ass conduit. So For our spindle, which we are, as mentioned, converting from three phase to single phase. And we're gonna do that by using a Yaskawa V1000. This is a VFD and it'll take your single phase and output three phase for a three phase motor. Um, Yaskawa, great brand. We actually got this on eBay for $175, which is great savings considering they can cost thousand or more depending on the horsepower rating. Uh, this is a five horse. This will power up to a five horse and made in Japan. We uh, have these all running on our three Omni churns, so they work great. So all together we have 3,300, 2,500, and 175. So we are right around $6,000 for our conversion parts. Now we do have a couple miscellaneous costs like hardware and cables to mount this all and uh, some crimpers and stuff like that, but altogether we're going to be under seven thousand dollars to do this conversion kit. Uh, along with the cost of the machine, we are at just right around ten thousand dollars, and I think comparing that to twenty thousand dollars for a Tormach, uh, I, I I think this is going to kill the Tormach. In our next video, we are going to work on tearing all this old stuff off and putting on our new exciting Centroid all-in-one DC. So please remember to like this video and subscribe. Hello! <laughs> Alright, you ready Kev? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Hey, it's Kevin and David, the Kevin and David show. He's giving me the eye. <laughs> the one-eyed wonder. He said we were going to do this. Yes, we are. Why are you going to be...